WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials closed down 9, NASDAQ off 16, S&P's down 6.5. Gold. Gold contract flat, 18.34.20 an ounce. We had silver also flat, $21.13 an ounce. Light sweet crude, still taking it on the chin. Down a buck 81 at 82.41. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up seven ticks, trading 107.10. The 30 year down three at 111.13. And King Dollar, King Dollar. This is the second day. We'll see if we can get three days in a row, folks, and get the jobs number tomorrow morning. King Dollar was down 464 ticks, trading out at 106.334. The Euro at 105. The yen at 148 and the British pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the uh, S&P first. And what you're looking at is this. You rejected lower price today at 421. You closed at 424. Not a bad setup. You know, we already got back to the 420. We go look at the SPY. I mean, the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of deal. Take a look at the Qs. The Qs rejected uh, 355 today, closed at 358. Had a contraction of volume also, so that's saying it wants higher price. And then the Qs in particular, folks, okay, what the Qs did, the Qs were only under the swing point for one day. So that's telling me that tomorrow the jobs number is going to be soft, this thing's going to bounce, and we'll see just where that bounce can go. We look at the note and bond market. So what do you have with the note and bond market? What do you have with inside the note and bond market? Is he had the 10-year get to a low yesterday? You know, not much follow-through today. We only get six ticks today. You know, you want to see wide price spread, but there will be wide price spread tomorrow. The real question is, is there going to be wide price spread on the way up or the way down? You know, if this job's number soft, you're going to have wide price spread on the way up. And then let's get to the good old U.S. dollar, because the dollar has been running this market for quite some time right now, since July. And this was the second time Second day, rather. And as I said at the beginning of the show, the dollar hasn't been down more than two days. And this whole run going all the way back to July 13th. That's the longest we've come down. Now, you can see by looking at this trend line that if we do go down, then you break the whole trend line. If you break a trend line with conviction, meaning wide price spread, then you're going right down, down to the bottom again. And then it's here we go, S&Ps, here we go commodities to a higher price. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.